Polar bears are one of the most difficult animals to tag and track given where they live. Bears are, are tough, they're rough and tumble. Males are sparring with each other, and so keeping things attached to bears is particularly hard. So we're often asked, why do you tag and track polar bears or wildlife in general? Tracking gives us a ton of information on habitat use, where animals go and what they're doing when we can't see them. An animal like a polar bear, most of their life history occurs out of sight. They live in very remote places, out on the sea ice where it's quite difficult to get to and nearly impossible to get to in the dark winter months. Having devices that remotely give us information on what a polar bear or other wildlife might be doing is incredibly valuable. The challenge came to us through my son. My son works for Polar Bears International. And um, he reached out to me one day and he's going, Dad, we have a problem. We need to attach a tag to a polar bear. You work for a company that makes things stick. Can you help us make a tag stick to a bear? Recently, tags and transmitters for bear research or research in general on animals have been shrunk down. They're quite small now. We really need a better tool in order to attach these to the animal itself. Polar Bears International is working with 3M to work and look at, you know, is there better adhesives, uh, maybe some sort of uh, Velcro-like tool, or maybe a tape that could adhere this to the animal for a short amount of time. And then when the tag has outlived itself, the adhesive will simply let go and the tag will be released from the animal. From there, I turned around and went to our tech forum community. I said, can we figure out a way to do this? I put together a, an event we called the Tag a Bear Challenge. It was a creative event to invite people for the couple of days to brainstorm and come up with some solutions. Here's a polar bear pelt. This is when they molt. This is how long we need this little tag to stick to the bear. Now, what can you guys do? And then from there, we went into solving those problems, developing test methodologies, and it's been about a two-year process. Over that time, we came up with several solutions, and we've reduced it down to essentially four methodologies. Some of them are adhesive methodologies, some are mechanical methodologies, and some are hybrids of both of those. Everything we know right now about polar bears is from adult female movements. So we're missing a big chunk of the information on how other bears use habitat, how other bears move around in the subpopulation and potentially between subpopulations. So if we're successful in testing these fur tags, if they work on polar bears, it will allow us for the first time to track adult male polar bears and subadult polar bears. These tags could potentially go on bears of any size, so this will give us a lot more information on polar bear life history, and it'll really round out what we know about polar bear habitat use and how things are changing as sea ice continues to melt. This has really been a demonstration of the best of 3M. It's what has been really exciting for me about my career here. It's a challenge that I put out to the technical community and there are a group of folks that have embraced this and have helped to come up with solutions and are just as excited about it as I am. The intent is to provide the wildlife community with a platform for attaching tags, radio tags to these animals and be able to track them. Arctic and polar bears provide for some really interesting challenges and unanswered questions. I'm excited to look for new ways to use this tool to try to fill in some of the gaps and provide answers to some of those questions.